Today we're going to look at 10 things you always find in a luxury house tour. Let's get right into it. Every house got to have a pool. Oh, well, this is a nice pool. The only thing having a pool like that, if you're frightened if you're sitting under that, that falls on you. So that will crush if that falls on you like. Though I have seen some of them literally overhanging the edges of cliffs like. And when you look down you see the bottom of the canyon like. I tell you, they, then they're scary things. You know, that breaks, you're going, whew, you're, you're gone, you're a goner. You're an absolute goner. If that breaks, you're a goner. But I'll tell you one thing this one, though. You can tell who's designed this house. You know, he's um, might maybe into a bit of volleyball. Because, you know, you can get some billionaires sitting on one of the chairs or benches that are down here and literally having a volleyball team playing volleyball in the uh, pool. You can just sit there, watch back, sit there like, with his um, drink in one hand, a cigar in the other hand, sitting there watching the volleyball play in the pool. I'll tell you, mmm. Right, now this is no, this is funky, this is nice bit of deck, this is a bit of Uncle Jason like, but you can tell one thing, this place is far too tidy, nobody lives here. Because if people live here, like a family or a couple, there will be stuff everywhere. Nice views. Let's take a look at this. Well, you definitely got privacy there. There's only no overlooking neighbours there. Absolutely beautiful through views, nice oceans. And if you want to, you can pop down to the beach, have a little splash in the ocean, take some nice Instagram pics. I can just imagine some Instagrammers there doing their little pics for Instagram. Now, I tell you how to fire pet that, you definitely have some parties. You'll put the old music on. Like, uh, like Uncle Jason always says, you need a good DJ who will get out his 12 inch and slap it on the table like, and push up the nod. Oh, wicked, wicked, boy, wicked, good time. One of these things, these homes, if you own a home like this, you're definitely potting your balls in more ways than one. The only thing I would say is make sure you don't follow through with the white because in all walks of life following through with the white is never a good thing if you know what I mean. Home theatre. Oh you're kidding me. What is that shirt he's wearing? You can tell he's got no fashion sense, or he's been to a thrift shop. I will say he's picked a good home theatre. I've seen cinemas that are worse than this. And also, he clearly hasn't got a wife, because she wouldn't let him walk out the house looking like that, I'll tell you now for nothing. And he definitely has got a husband, because his husband would have, if he had a husband, would have a lot of fashion sense, and definitely would not let him walk out the house like that man, like. A living wall. My life be like. Let's go back a bit here, guys. Right. Can you imagine having that in your house and having to have a gardener come in and cut that? Can you imagine all the trees and branches and the bushes everywhere in your house like? I don't get why people have these things in their house. It's just, it's just ludicrous. They are absolutely ridiculous. They are high cost to maintain. And if you've got a irrigation system in that, like watering your plants and stuff and the plumbing breaks and that, you're going to have a bloody flood everywhere like. What's the point? Just get a few pot plants. That's what we do in the real world, like. We don't have living walls. We have, if you want a living wall, put it outside on the wall outside. So then the gardener can cut it when he cuts the garden. And if the irrigation system bursts, it just floods the garden. It doesn't flood your whole house, like. Especially some of the fixtures that fit in that house, man. It would, it would like, ruin, like, £2,000 carpets and stuff. 
I say two thousand pounds, probably more like ten thousand pounds or ten thousand dollar carpets, like. But it's just it would ruin all your fixtures and fittings and stuff if all the irrigation system that waters all them plants leaks. Like, what? Like, why? Tell me in the chat why, and would you have that in your house? I certainly wouldn't. I'd be like, no, that can go in the garden because it looks nice. A house is a house, a garden's a garden. Unique art. When I got this one in uh, Dubai, bicycle chain. What am I looking at? How cool is this? Like, is he blind as a bat? Like, how the hell could you walk past that and not see that? Like, seriously, it's not like a tiny little figurine. Like, that's huge. Well, absolutely, this guy, uh, that guy, is an absolute muppet. He really is. Like, oh wow, that bicycle chain. Uh, what is something like this? Now, I will say, this is a proper piece of art. Not like them silly paints we saw in the house we saw previously, where it looked like children threw paint on a canvas, like. Go for how much is that? I paid like seventy grand for it. What? Okay, it's nice art, and I really like it. But there is no way on this planet I am going to pay seventy thousand dollars for that. That's just mental. You tell these rich people who live in these kind of houses have got more money than sense. They really do. If they're spending seventy thousand dollars on that, I know some part. I know some parts of England, especially at North Lot, you could buy a house for that. That's absolutely ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Talk about how you half live like man. Car garage. Let's see what this looks like. Flash, flash, flash. Here we go. What is that? Oh my goodness. That is literally so you don't put muddy footprints in the car. Like, what a good idea that is. How many keys? Is this a garage or a showroom we're looking at here, guys? That's mental. A uh, Ferrari key, not not everyone has Ferraris. That is just absolutely insane. That is just, I've never seen a garage like that in my life. Under the sea? Isn't that insane? Under the sea? I hate to think how much that cost to build. I don't know what's what always higher cost, either the building of the garage or the actual cars in the garage. Actually, take that back. It's probably the cars in the garage, in all fairness, because some of them cars are worth an absolutely mint like. Ferrari. Let's see which Ferrari this opens. Here we go. What a question to have when you walk into the garage. Oh, which Ferrari is this key for? That's a question I ask all the time, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, right, I wish. I bet she's in heaven because she loves her cars. I know she does. Like I've seen her in a few things before. She proper loves her cars. Like man, she'd be in heaven looking at this man. I must admit, I'd be in heaven if I was in that garage too at the moment as well. So I don't blame her. A luxury bathroom. What a one million dollar bathroom looks like. Yep, you heard that right. What the actual? That is not a bathroom. That is literally a spa. But how you call that a bathroom is beyond my imagination. I've known people who've got apartments that are smaller than this. That's ridiculous. This master bathroom located at the tippity top of the Regalia in Sunny Isles cost a staggering $1.2 million. Cons $1.2 million for a bathroom? You, you can tell people who own this kind of bathroom, right? They're billionaires or trillionaires or they've just got too much money on their hands. That is just crazy, like, man. Proper crazy. Constructed with the finest golden Calcutta marble from floor to wall, this bathroom is 65 feet long. I love it when they say the finest Calcutta marble. It marble marble. Like, I know I probably come from the Commonwealth, like, where we, 
we would dream of having marble in things and be lucky if we get marble effect plastic like but is there a difference between like that kind of marble and the other kind of marble it marble marble like tell me in the chat if i'm being completely silly here like and, and you've, you've known about marble work or you're a marble engineer or something but it's just crazy that is just crazy you cannot call that a bathroom absolutely not that is definitely not a bathroom in any walk of life that is, that is a spa that is not a bathroom it's a spa such a misleading title has some of the most breathtaking views from just about anywhere possesses some of the most refined finishes from the shower to the vanity and you cannot forget I should bloody hope so for that price tag. If I spent 1.2 million pound on a uh, sorry 1.2 million dollars on a bathroom, like I expect it to have nice finishes. He says it like it's a wow thing. It's not a wow thing. It's a it should be thing like. Top of the line sauna and steam room located at the end of this world class bath. Like I said, a sauna and a steam room in the bathroom. Tell me in the chat if you've got a sauna and a steam room in your bathrooms at home. Because I can guarantee 99.9% .9 of you haven't. That is not that is not a bathroom, that is a spa. Bathroom. It's bloody nice though, I'll say that. Thank you nieces and nephews. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.